Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Emich and exploring a hassle-free installation process using Docker. If you're eager to get started with Emich and want a smooth installation experience, you're in the right place. But before we begin, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our tech tutorials. Now, let's jump right into it. Image stands as a free and open source application, drawing significant inspiration from Google Photos. Its purpose is to provide users with functionalities reminiscent of cloud-based photo and video management services, but with a distinctive twist. All operations occur under your control, hosted on your personal server. This unique approach ensures absolute ownership and privacy for your cherished moments, eliminating any third-party access. In essence, Image allows you to safeguard your moments without sharing them with large tech corporations. Everything remains securely on your server. Furthermore, Image offers features such as automatic backups, seamless sharing, and advanced organization, all without the concerns associated with privacy policies or data mining. The allure of Image lies in its harmonious blend of simplicity and power, crafted with users in mind. It boasts a sleek interface that simplifies the navigation, viewing, and management of your photo and video collections. Before we get our hands dirty, let's ensure we have everything we need. To install a Mitch with Docker, you'll need a machine with Docker installed. If you haven't installed Docker yet, start by installing the prerequisite necessary to add and use a new HTTPS repository. Next, import the Docker GPG repository key to your Ubuntu system. This security feature ensures that the software you're installing is authentic. You can watch the video in the description on how to install Docker. It also has commands in the description. After importing the GPG keys, add the official Docker repository by running this command. Run the update command to refresh the package list. You can now install Docker by running this command. You can check the Docker service status using the following command. Next install an essential component that is Docker Compose. To install Docker Compose run the following commands. Our first step is to create a directory where we will store the compose and environment files for image, then switch to the new directory. Now, let's craft a Docker compose file, serving as the blueprint for our Docker setup. This file acts as a guide for Docker Compose, outlining the services, volumes, ports, and other configurations necessary to instruct Docker Compose on setting up our image instance. Next, create an environment file. Paste the following into the file. Modify it so the image Docker container will save files to where you want on your system. Image allows you to specify another path, we'll just leave it at the default myself. For the database password variable, enter a randomly created string that will serve as the password for your PostgreSQL user. Having written the compose and environment files, you can initiate your image Docker container by running the following command. Please be patient during this process, as Docker needs to download image and its assorted components, which may take a few minutes.
the installation of a Mitch has been completed successfully, and all associated containers are now up and running. Now, you can access the Amich web-based user interface by navigating to the IP address of your server. If you are accessing it from the same machine the containers are running on you can use localhost and then the port number 2283. I prefer installing on a VPS machine so I can access the server from anywhere. If you have a VPS you can also purchase a cheap domain name from Namecheap and create in a record pointing to your VPS IP address. You can purchase a storage VPS from a service provider like InterServer or Rose Hosting. You will need a VPS with at least 4GB of memory and more. The first time you access the Image web interface, you must go through some initial setup steps. Your first step is to create an admin account that you will use to manage your Image Docker installation which I already did myself. Following this, you'll be directed to a page where you can establish your initial Image account, complete with admin privileges. Simply populate the required fields and conclude your registration process by clicking the sign up button. You will be automatically redirected to the login page. Enter the username and password you have set up. Then click login. Choose your favorite color theme, either light or dark. Now, you have the option to enable the storage template feature. What does it do? In brief, this capability in Image empowers users to personalize the way their photos and videos are stored on the server. It encompasses settings for file organization, naming conventions, and storage paths. By leveraging storage templates, users can tailor the organization of their media files to align with their preferences, streamlining the management and retrieval of files. For the time being, accept the default value, as you can modify this setting later from the Image Admin menu. Click the Done button to preserve your changes. You can also back up your images and videos on your mobile devices. Just install the Image app on the devices whether iOS or Android. Since it is using HTTP and not HTTPS, you can use a VPN to access your VPS. You can also use a VPN to access your Image home server machine. On a VPS, you can also install an SSL certificate if you do not want to use a VPN. In the server endpoint URL field, enter the address of the image server. Then, click on the next button. Enter your username and password. Then click the login. Upon logging in, locate and click the cloud-shaped icon situated in the top right corner of the application. Subsequently, the app will request permission to access your device's photos and videos. Kindly grant this permission to proceed. Choose the albums you wish to transfer to a Mitch. Navigate to the bottom of the application and select the Start Backup button. Your files will commence uploading to the Image server, enabling you to monitor the backup progress in real time. Once the transfer concludes, feel free to revisit the image server and revel in viewing your securely backed up digital content. We highly recommend enabling a feature in the app to enhance the efficiency of your photo and video file transfers. Click on the gear icon located at the top right corner and activate the turn on foreground backup setting. By doing this, the app will automatically upload any new files to the image server every time you open, simplifying the process for you. And there you have it, a quick and straightforward guide on how to install a Mitch using Docker. Docker makes the process seamless and ensures a consistent environment across different systems. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and happy coding! 
We highly recommend enabling a feature in the app to enhance the efficiency of your photo and video file transfers. Click on the gear icon located at the top right corner and activate the turn on foreground backup setting. By doing this, the app will automatically upload any new files to the image server every time you open, simplifying the process for you. And there you have it, a quick and straightforward guide on how to install Image using Docker. Docker makes the process seamless and ensures a consistent environment across different systems. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.